dogs have you got? Twelve. The eldest is twelve. Yeah. Um, and seven pups are two and a half. Oh, and we've got two five-year-olds and two four-year-olds. How did you end up with so many pups? There was a bit of a mating accident. We didn't want them to go just as an advert in the paper and somebody just come and take them. We had hoped that friends or family would want them. Um, at least one was due to go to a, another home, but right at the last minute, this girl's parents changed their mind and wouldn't allow her to have one of the pups. So. What sort of problems are you experiencing with the dogs? They bark when people come to the house. Okay. Uh, we're worried that they bark if we're all out, which we don't want to be a nuisance to the neighbours. Some of them have scrapping issues. They're starting to be a bit scrappy with each other. And they bark at other dogs when we're out. So having 12 dogs, where do they all sleep? We have, well, do tell all, please. We have two <laughs> double beds bolted together, one right, for okay. me and my husband and the other for the dogs. Right, so all 12 sleep? No, not all 12 room. sleep in our room. Some sleep with Sean. Sometimes they, they will sleep on the landing in a big row okay. all down the landing. There's a great art to the stepping over the dogs <laughs> in the darkness. <laughs> What's prompted you to call us in to help you? Because I feel, I mean, I definitely need some help. Uh -huh. um, I'd like to take them out more than I do. I, I love walking with the dogs, but sometimes it's such a, an effort when we know they're going to be squealing and barking and yowling. Um, I'm very conscious that somebody might complain about right. them. Yeah. Um, the lady next door is due to have a baby very soon. I don't want them to be a nuisance. They are essentially really nice dogs, but they're a bit unruly. I tend to spoil them. I know I do. Everybody will tell you that I very much spoil them and they are like children to me, like babies, and I know they shouldn't be, but they are. Why did you choose Bark Busters uh, amongst everybody else? Because uh, I read the testimonials on the website and I've also had a conversation with uh, a a lady I know and she found Bark Busters really, really useful. And it was just from there, I just wondered if y'all would like a challenge, because I didn't know if you could even help us or, or not. Well, definitely up for the challenge. Right. Get down. 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 got your hands full there. Yes, just a bit, don't we? <laughs> right, so out of today's um, session, what mm. would you like to achieve? Basically, I want them to be quieter. I want, when we're getting ready to go for a walk, I don't want the kind of hassle that we always have because the noise is horrendous okay. and they're whipped up to a frenzy just because of the sheer pleasure of going out for a walk. I want them to be calmer so that I feel that Craig, myself and Sean, when we put the leads on, we can go out in a more orderly fashion without causing the whole street to know we're all going out. We need to make sure that consistently throughout the home as well, yes. you are showing yeah. this sort of type of behaviour, this barking, yeah. and the, obviously this jumping up, mm. the, this frenzy yeah. that you see mm. is not acceptable. Yeah. So literally what we will show you today is um, how to actually put that into play. Yeah. So then when you go onto the walking area, yeah. we can then continue, yeah. but the dogs will already understand yeah. that you want them to be quiet. We need to rule out whether or not they're it's used just, to me. Yeah. So we get somebody else to knock on the yeah. door now, and then we can then put this all to the test. Yeah. Oh goodness, don't you look different? I think that was quite effective, weren't it? But that is a massive improvement on what usually happens yeah. when you come in, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really massive improvement. Bah.